Hello everybody, I'm your favorite neighborhood Let's Player Spider-Man, and I welcome you to Let's Play Astro Smash on the Mattel Intellivision. Now, it's been a long time since I wanted to do this game, but it usually crashed or something else happened to it. But I finally found a version that actually works, so let's get into it. So this is Astro Smash. It's a very simple game. Kind of an asteroid type of a game, where you just uh, shoot asteroids that are trying to come and destroy Earth. Something like that. You got falling stars, you got these meteors, asteroids, whatever you want to call them. And you just go around and, it's, uh, and just destroy whatever comes at your way, hoping to survive. You start with four lives, so you get only one time bonus on the score. As you can see, you don't really get that many points. But as you go along, the game will get more and more difficult by throwing more shit at you. And getting more and more faster. And I'm actually started on a fast pace already. Because this game is so... This game is so simple and easy that you really don't need to go at a slow pace. If you went on a slower pace, you would get just bored with it. So it's always better to start with high pace. And a high speed. And I know I already died because I was a goof. I was trying to get the falling star that you heard. Now this game is really noisy sometimes. Especially if there's like 5,000 things at the same time. Like 15 falling stars and a UFO and, and meteors and whatever. Told you. Very loud. Can be very, very loud. But as you can see, I got to a thousand points and I got a sort of a level up, you could say. Oh god, oh, god, those are the falling stars. I really hate those. So these are pretty much all these are rocks, which is uh, which are the, the, the meteors. And the ones that make the whiny sound as they come down, those white big the swirly blob blocks of stuff. Those are pretty much the asteroids that you need to destroy before they hit the ground. If those hit the ground, uh, they will destroy you immediately. But with these uh, meteors, you'll only get destroyed if, you, if they touch you. But you will lose points when they hit the ground, if you haven't noticed. If, you don't, if you're not paying attention to the point system down, down there, Seriously, who was really keeping an eye on on the uh, point system? Well, I am because uh, the further I get in the points, the further I get in the levels. Right now, I'm getting double points. So in next level, it's be, it'll be three times some better points and so on and so forth. You can all imagine already by yourself, yourself how it goes. Now, I'm not really shooting myself actually here. This uh, game actually has an auto-fire option, if you want to use it, which I am. Ha! Gotcha, before you even showed yourself. Now, as you can see, the graphics are very crude and primitive, but hey, that's the Intellivision's graphics, and I like it. So many good memories of playing this game, lots of lots of times. Always the same deal. But you can actually make it more challenge to yourself. Now those, when they hit the ground, they don't uh, destroy you immediately. They actually can slide on the ground to destroy you. That's what they're, they're homing missiles, you could say, those falling stars. So you have to be really careful with them. But if they do get into the ground, you do have a hyperdrive on the, uh, or a hyperspace activator on your ship. So you can actually escape it quite easily, like this. And it's always random, so it's not the most uh, uh, efficient way of escaping, but the o it's the only option you have, like this. Very annoying sound effects, but eh, what can you do? Also, always random, so you might get yourself killed very easily with that. <laughs> and when those actually hit, those can hit other other things here, so they will destroy themselves sometimes, as you saw. But destroying them yourself will give you quite a lot of points. 
Gotta love the background, right? At least it's not cyan like uh, it's gonna be next time. Around 10,000 points or 15,000, I'm not sure. As you saw, the second level comes at a thousand points, and this came at a five thousand points. So next one will be at least ten or fifteen thousand. Not much to talk about the game anymore because I'm really much. I'm pretty much said all there is, except there's one more enemy that we haven't seen yet. It'll come on the next level, on the uh, lightish, lightish cyan colored background. It's gonna be a real up, a real eye rape. I have to warn about that. So this game is pretty much an eye rape and an ear rape all together in one package! Yay! It's still a fun game. I used to play this a lot. As a kid. Nothing else to do but to stare at the uh, colorful, colorful monitor. Well, TV. Just watch the, watch the TV and enjoy the beautiful colors of this game. And just make everything explode with your lines of lasers. So pretty. It's kind of wonder that he, it's shooting white lines instead of red. I mean, they're supposed to be laser shots or something like that. To destroy everything. Why need an Armageddon or Deep Impact to figure this, something like this out? Just make it a ship that shoots lasers at the asteroid to destroy it. <laughs> Would've been easier than whatever they did. I mean, seriously. Well, it's logical what you think about it, what they did in the movies, that they drill a hole into the big friggin' asteroid to blow it up in half, so it will bypass to doom. It's the only logical choice that you can actually make. I mean, seriously. Like they thought of just nuking the thing, that will ju just make a big uh, crater on the side of the uh, asteroid. Nothing else. So you really need to go inside of it and blow it up like that. Except you could actually do one... Except they could do what they did in The Dig. Now there's an adventure game I'm gonna play at some point. I like that game. I also have the book that somebody wrote about the, the game. The Dig. If you, if, you, if you know what the adventure game is, The Dig. I'm not sure if, any, if everybody knows what The Dig is. Adventure game that even Steven Spielberg could not make into a movie! I pressed the hyperspace, you stupid game. Now you may have noticed that I have already 18 lives. That's because it's very easy to get one-ups in this game. All you have to do is shoot until you get 1000 points. So when I get to the next level, which is actually about at 20,000 points, I will be having... Something like 23 lives already. See? I've got one life, life more. Thanks for being on the same line as the other one! Sometimes reaction time against those guys are not that fast. I'm playing badly right now. But hey, that's sometimes how it goes with this game. Besides, I'm, it's not like I'm running out of lives. It's very very difficult to get the, get a game over in this game. The only time I actually get a game over in this game is when I get bored and just decide to kill myself. Yep, yep. yep. Oh crap! I'm not gonna let you hit the ground. Nope. Gotcha. As you can see, the more points you get, the more difficult the game gets. Woohoo! That was close. Oh come on! Let me hit. Oh, oh. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! That was not my plan, really. I wasn't supposed to hit it. But hey, I stopped it! <laughs> it would've killed me anyway. It was too close. Too close for comfort. So I decided to just bash my head into it to just stop it. Yay. Not the smartest plan in the world. There we go! Nice, ugly green. Ugh. I always hated this background. I mean, seriously, you could have gone with yellow or bright green. No, let's go with the uh, the uh, ocean green, aquamarine green, the ugliest color in the world. <laughs> Sometimes these uh, games can be a real strain to your eyes. 
But I don't mind it. I have a, I have a good eyesight, so. Now where's the UFO? I know it counts at this level. And I, I, I know it's very hard to see the freaking meteor sometimes, especially when it's a green meteor against green background. Like I said, they could have gone with another color, but they already have yellow, yellow asteroids, so or meteors, whatever you want to call them. Rocks. Let's call them rocks, so I don't go wrong with the terms. I know some are, some people can be very finicky with the uh, terminology, especially me. So I'm just gonna call them rocks, falling rocks. That's what they are. Now, where was I? What was I supposed to say? All about the coloring. There it is! That is the UFO! It makes a high pitch sound, it goes across the screen, and it tries to shoot you. With those grid blocks. That's pretty much it. Now you see everything about the game. All the enemies. Well, you can't really call rocks enemies, or stars enemies. Except, in this game, that's what they are. They are your adversaries that you need to destroy. Ha! Gotcha. Will you shoot the damn thing? Jeez. Spider Moi. Come on. Concentrate. And once I get to 50,000 points, that is where I will get to the next level. Now, what, what is the next level? The same as the first. With a black background. That would be nice to have, because this is... <laughs> it doesn't always start to follow you, as you saw. It depends on what kind of angle it comes from. Jeez, that was a lot of falling stars. Yep! Gotcha. <laughs> and as you see, they're coming at a really fast pace now. But that is because I'm already at the four-time level. You need the four times? Four. So they just keep on coming faster and faster, giving me more and more points. I could use a UFO. Nope. Nope. Oh, come on. Give me a UFO. Thank you. Gotcha. You're fast! I got 33 lives! Yay! I told you you would rack up lives like mad in this game. I don't know if those noises as annoying to you as they are to me still today. I didn't like them as a kid either. I mean, why did the game... I know they didn't have much of a, the, you know, limit. Well, uh, not the limit, I mean, access to a lot of sound effects back in the day with the sound chips that they used, especially in Sorry or this game. But why, 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 why were they always so high-pitched? That's the most annoying part about old games. Everything's high-pitched. I mean, seriously. Did they really need to make everything like an ear rape? I'm... You can only imagine how many kids had hearing problems back in the day because of these games. I know I did it, but still, I'm sure that somebody had some ear problem, hearing problems, because of playing these games over and over again with all their beeps and bobs and bleeps and beep. <laughs> Damn it. Well, there you see, if they hit the ground, you die! Whoop. Gotcha. Now I'm actually gonna risk it, I'm, I'm going for single fire! <sighs> whoop, whoop, whoop. The only problem with going for single fire is uh, with my controls, I cannot have fast access to the uh, hyperspace now. So if there is a fall, if there will be a <laughs> falling star, it'll kill me. Homing in on me! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah. But you can see you when you do your single shot, you can actually shoot a lot faster than normal. I got lucky there that it didn't start rolling down on the ground. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Like it usually does from coming from that kind of an angle. Oh, you're really coming at me with those uh, UFOs now. Come on. I need something to shoot to get points. I want to get to the next level, which will be the last level I go to. 
Because really, there's only four background color levels to this game. Then it just goes on and on and on. Oh, crap. Ah, crap. Woo! Still okay, bye. Yeah, if they, they can go off screen. Like you see with the meteors. But even those come at an angle sometimes. Oh crap. <laughs> I get really lucky with those guys. Seriously. None of them have really... Rolled on the up ground. <laughs> to come and get me. Why didn't I move? I knew it was coming at me. Sometimes you just be... Sometimes just, when you play a game like this for a long time, you just dull yourself and... Just start making stupid mistakes. See? Now it's rolling there and I have no access to the freaking high spur state. Cypress Priest. Yeah, Cypress Priest. That's what it's called today. Cypress Priest. Never! Move! Freaking hell. Stupid control. Gotcha. Come on. Shoo! Sometimes when they divide like that, it's not a good thing to shoot at the old oh, crap. I'm going back to the auto fire. Easier that way. Although you don't really get the auto fire is uh, not as good as doing single. Sh the explosion killed me. If you're wondering what happened, it was the explosion of the uh, piece of rock that I shot. Yeah, that red explosion can kill you, because it's whiter than the rocks. No! I will hyperspace my in myself into you. Ah! <laughs> I'm doing really badly, but I'm almost there. Almost at 50,000. Oh no, you don't. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Oh, the gray was first. Ha! Huh. So there was one more level that I forgot. I wonder what happened to this level. Well, there you go. This is actually the last one. Then you just can roll back to the black one. So that's pretty much it. Not, nothing else to show in the game. Really. You've pretty much seen everything there is to show about this game. So, I'll just continue playing, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye. No, no, you don't, you stupid rock. <laughs> I will still get you. Why haven't I stopped recording? Game's intense, I tell ya.